The good old days are right now. Hello everyone, it's the deeply insightful philosopher El Maxo here, and I'm here to talk about this idea of the present moment. It's a big one I've been thinking about because this week I turned 21. Woo! If I was in America, that mean I that means I could start drinking now, but because I'm Australian, we get to do that from 18, and we're probably encouraged to do that from even younger, but you didn't hear that from me. But no, I turned 21, and it was kind of one of those moments, it was like the least excited I've been about a birthday, like, ever, which is kind of sad. It feels like a death of innocence. I remember when I was young, I used to wake up and be like, oh my god, I'm turning 13! That means I'll get the new Lego set! Or something like that, right? I don't get to have friends over and shit like that. But this year, I was just like, huh, it's kind of just another day, which is a little sad, but I talked to my parents about it, and they're like, oh, what do you want to do? And I was like, uh, actually, I kind of just want to stick to my normal daily routine, if that's possible. Uh, and then we can, we can get dinner as a family. How about that? And that was about it. I got some presents. I was 21, and it, yeah, it was just, it, I didn't, I never problem with it. It was a fine day. I was happy. But it was just kind of, I was reflecting. I was like, you know, I used to be a little more excited about stuff like this, stuff like Christmas, stuff like holidays when I was younger. And that's obviously become not the case as I've aged. And it sort of prompted more thinking. It's stuff I've been thinking about a lot. I thought about a lot in 2022, but I just kind of realized that you truly never appreciate the past until it's gone, which sounds kind of corny, you know, passenger. You only know you love her when you let... What is it? <laughs> you know that passenger song? Only know the light when it starts to... I don't know what the fuck it is. It's just when something's not there anymore, that's when you can start to appreciate it. And that's definitely been the case with a lot of my past. I think back to 2018, 2019, my end of high school years, which I feel like I'm quite nostalgic towards now, which seems a bit weird because I don't think at the time I was particularly fond of high school. For no reason in particular, I was on like... I don't know. I, I had a lot of friends. I had a lot of good stuff going on. I just... I don't know. I kind of just wasn't that engaged at high school in like the social, I don't even know how to put it to be honest because I kind of was, look whatever, I was kind of just angsty I guess, I did well at school, I had a lot of friends and stuff but just like, you really just look back and envy it, I don't know if it's because it's a time of kind of ignorant bliss where you didn't know certain things and certain things hadn't happened but I've just realized more and more that uh, you kind of always are looking back at the past like damn I wish I could have fully appreciated that moment. And I guess that links with the title of the video. Because if you haven't caught on, I feel like you kind of just get stuck as endless psych. I think I've talked about this idea on my channel before, but just like right now I'm looking back three to four years ago, I was like, damn, things were simple and happy. And then guess what? Three to four years from now, I'm going to look back to me manically doing 20,000 steps a day playing, oh, actually, I can't like that, um, <laughs> editing for three hours a day. And right now I'm kind of like, oh, this sort of sucks. I'm not mega feeling happy. But I'll probably look back at three to four years when I moved out, mega successful, mega rich, harem of women, 20 dogs in my studio mansion, and I'll be like, oh, damn, I was happy then. I think that's just going to be an endless cycle. At some point, you kind of have to sit there and go, no, 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 I'm not dealing with this. I'm going to appreciate the moment whilst I'm in it. Hence why the good old days are right now. I guess I want to say something specifically to the younger people who are watching this video, who are maybe in high school, Maybe in early high school, 13, 14, 15, however old you are. And I think it's something super powerful. Maybe I'll rob you of the nostalgia by doing this, but I think it's ultimately for the best. Because I'd really encourage you to just kind of embrace the moment. Embrace everything good you have going on. Even if things aren't particularly good, just try and look optimistically at what, what good is going on. And just sit there and just try to appreciate it. Maybe spend five minutes just thinking about everything you can be appreciative towards. Your friends, maybe it's a certain class you enjoy, a certain after-school activity you have. Because truthfully, that time's going to pass and it's all going to go away. This is actually just, just just then I thought of this ancient memory. This has just pulled a memory for me. I remember in year seven, which if you're not, if you're American, year seven is our, oh, I don't know what's equivalent. It's when you're like 13 and you first go into like middle school, I think we call it? And I had French. You had to take a language in uh, high school or middle school, whatever. And uh, I took French. And I remember talking with one of my teachers. Can I say his name? Mr. Rickman. Can I say Mr. Rickman? I just remember who he is. And he was like, I remember we were asking about some certain things. I think he was just telling us about the syllabus and about our marks. Uh, and he said, like, if, if you, even if you, if you, even if you do poorly, you don't really have to worry about it because it's only in your final year of school that your marks go towards your ATAR, which is what determines what uni you can go to, right? Um, and he's like, you know, don't worry about it. That's so far away. And I sit here eight years later and it's just like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> Time really just do be passing, you know. You, I just, I really would implore you to, to fully appreciate the moment you're in. And like, I guess I could give some tips to it. I'm still not struggling with it, but I'm trying to do some more things to encourage, encourage presence in the moment. Uh, and personally, if you ask me, I think the key thing to that is uh, meditation. I think meditation really helps with focus and it really helps you just kind of appreciate uh, what's going on in the moment. Uh, if you if you never meditate before, you basically sit there and just focus entirely on your breath 
uh, your mind will inevitably, inevitably, inevitably like scatter off to different thoughts. But the whole point is you bring it back to your breath and just focus on the current moment. That's it. It's something that really helps with just focus with with presence and just kind of it's allowed me to appreciate the moment more it's allowed me to be to focus better like sometimes i'll catch myself procrastinating and be like no 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 you know what you have to do it's something i think can kind of help with this idea but that's kind of i don't know if it's an antidote but i think it can help with just being conscious of the moment so wherever you're at especially if you're long lung especially if you're young i just would really implore you even if you're not young just kind of sit and just maybe take a moment to kind of to stop and smell the roses i think i had a video like this a while ago just truly appreciate the moment you're in because one tomorrow is not guaranteed i guess that's the first thing you don't know where you'll be you might get hit by a fucking car tomorrow hopefully you don't that would kind of suck but i think it's worthwhile just sitting there maybe taking inventory of what's going your way maybe not everything's going great we all have problems we got to go through but just try your best to kind of look past them and just see see the good and what you can appreciate now because even if things aren't great i think you can often look back at moments of struggle as kind of like character defining i'm going to talk a bit more about this in february i have a specific video planned on a specific date but even if you are struggling i think you will probably look back with gratitude one day and be like that really turned me into who i am today and you'll almost feel nostalgic towards it so even if things aren't 100% going your way, I think it could be worth just being grateful for the present moment. Because one day you'll be looking back and you'll be like, where did the time go? So I just encourage you to be present in the moment. And that's all I really want to say for this, this week. Uh, it's not super well fleshed out. Something I've been thinking a bit, uh, a bit about recently. Something I've been thinking about a lot for the last year. So I just implore you to be more present in the moment. Appreciate what you got going. And I think it'll lead you to be a happier person. So yeah, I'm going to end it there. Uh, if you want to know this week, I, f I read the book The Happiness Hypothesis by I can't remember the name of the author because my book's across the room and I'm not getting it. It was a really nice read, really eye-opening, just broadened my perspective on, well, as you might be able to guess, happiness, fulfillment, things like that. And, and just caused me to rethink, uh, re rethink some things, which I think is always great. I definitely recommend it if you're looking for a book. It's called The Happiness Hypothesis. Can't remember the author's name. Uh, I turned 21 this week, which is exciting. But yeah, that's, that's all I want to do. I hope you're well. And I hope you, you're more present, maybe for the, the short term. Appreciate what you're going on. But that's all from me. You know the drill. Farewell, Elite Level Gamer.